Yo, yo. It's time for a Swing Dance reaction video. Jamie Jackson here. Welcome to my humble abode in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I am about to watch my favorite style of competition. This is called the All Star Strictly. This is a Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill is like where you pair up two different types of dancers, one lead, one follow, and they don't know who they're going to dance with. Actually, no, no. Strictly is where they kind of have their partner and they're just going to kind of do a little bit of choreography and a lot of social dancing. So we are going to get into it. This is my favorite one. The all-star level is right below the Invitational. But in my opinion, it's actually the better dancers. These are the people who actually have something to lose. Their ego, they want to prove to everyone they have what it takes. And I remember competing in this division and it was awesome. So let's get into it. Let's see. I don't know who's competing, so I'm going to watch it. All right, let's do it. And let's go. Okay, familiar faces. Ah, uh, let's see any surprise. Hey, Ariadna, it's my other dance partner. Simon. Oh, both Simons. Oh, here we go. Here, we, this is gonna be good. I see California in the house. Come on, Ben. Uh. Oh, Zach. Oh, oh, oh. This is going to be good. All right. Peter. I see you. <laughs> Studio 88, folks. They are representing. Oh, Gustav in the back. I see you. Gustav and Laya. This is a good warm up. This is a good warm up. Oh, this is. Oh, I want to see something fresh. I want to see something new. Bring it, please. Sixteen eights. Okay. Eight eights. We are clear. Boom. It's on. Oh, Rafal, come on now. Yeah, they got sneakers on. When they wear those sneakers, you know they are ready for fast dancing. Come on. He's just coming out with aerials. I got <laughs> why not? Ah, oh, come on, band. Yes, I was just eating lunch with him. Ah, oh, we were in the Midwest somewhere. I can't remember. Nah, Purdue. Yes.
Come on. I usually like his choreography. He's got some different stuff. Let's see what happens. Yes, quick, 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 yes. Oh, Sean B. Lee, yes, to lose in the house. You guys got to watch him. He's coming up. He's, he's been in the game for a while. Yes, clean. Come on, Gustav and Laya. Oh, yeah, that's good. Class A. That's some classic moves, folks. They had the races. Come on, Zach. <laughs> yeah. We got yes, the young ones. Oh, I love these these posts. So good. What's up with my screen? Come on, guys. Oh. It's some good timing. Come on. That's, that's, <laughs> I love this guy's energy. Uh. Yes, that's not easy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, come on, here we go. Yes. Yes, yes. See, the thing, you can't fake aerials, guys. That's, yes. <laughs> yes. Come on, Adi. Uh. Man. Simon! <laughs> yes! Yes, that was good, guys. <laughs> All right, round two. 
They're bringing it, guys. Come on, we're fall. Yes. They're not being lazy with those aerials. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, that's good. Ah, oh, that was good. <laughs> that drummer. That drummer is all at one. He was watching his hits. They're all from California, so maybe they, they dance to his music a lot. The timing on that was good. Ah. Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh, this is good. I don't know, guys. This is close. This is close. Oh, I gotta get my and get my notebook. Impressive about this particular competition. There were so many young faces. I know a lot of these dancers personally, but I know how old they are, and I'm 40. So it is really nice to see some dancers who really love Lindy Hop in their mid 20s, kind of that early, you know, 20 year old, 25 age. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, guys. Man, this was a close one. This was really close. Usually when I look at these kind of competitions, strictly, the main things I'm looking for when I judge at these kind of events is I'm looking for a little bit of timing, number one, because obviously they're playing the live music. And if I am not a swing dancer and I'm watching something like this for the first time, I want to see something that matches the music the most whenever I hear the music standing out. So usually when a person that doesn't know that kind of music, they it all sounds the same until there's something big that happens in the right timing. So there was a lot of folks that had timing because a lot of this was, a lot of it was choreographed, which is good, you know, in this one. Um, but a lot of them had better timing. The one, the one I thought, I would say my number one couple 
Uh, I think it was the very first couple. I believe I know Rafal, but I'm not sure about his partner's name. I think they said Nicole. I'm not sure on that. She had a green shirt on. Uh, they had some impeccable timing, but they also had the, the second thing that I look for, which is control. Control, that's that fancy word is technique, right? You know, usually I just, I like to see energy going from one person to another. I want to see the leader start something and wait so we can clearly see what happens with the follower because it's really all about what happens with the follower. So they had control. They had some control and they had some crazy aerials. I mean, they, they just came out swinging with some aerials. So they were first. That other trait that I look for, you got timing, you got control, but then I'm also looking for creativity. I'm looking for that last bit of uniqueness that sets you apart from the other dancers. For me, that's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one because I saw a lot of creative movements that got the crowd going, but she, I think he lifted his partner up. Everybody knows that one, right? And then she lifted him up. I'm like, I've never seen that. Not like, I mean, I've seen it where the, the, the lady lifts the guy up, but not right after that move. So that, that automatically put me, you know, in a different mindset to watch them more because of that little, that second round that they had. So yeah, I, I would put them first, first place, million dollar trophy. They would have won in my book, first place. Uh, second place, I would have to say it goes down to the dancers from Studio 88, Corey Lee and her partner. I forget his first name. Shame on me because they hosted me. I came to Studio 88 um, and spent some time with those dancers, did a workshop. It was impeccable. It was fantastic. And I can see the influence from the legendary Ani Trudeau, who is the, I would say she's the queen of swing when it comes to like aerials. Um, I haven't seen anything like it that, that's come since. And these are a lot of the people who come out of her studio in Montreal that she had. Oh, man. It, it's amazing to see what happened with them. They are crushing it. So I, I would have had them at a close second. It was between, it was between Rafal and his partner and Coralie and her, hit her partner. So I would have had them at second. And third, for me, has to go to Simon and Ariadna. Both of those dancers. Now, I'm a little biased because I danced with Ariadna. I remember when she first kind of got into swing and I kind of put it out there. I was like, hey, you know, you could be like really, really good at this if you try a little bit. It'll take you about, you know, three years. And she was like, what? And then six months is when she just exploded. She went out and got a partner and just went crazy. And she even surprised me. So I was surprised by this one. I'm, I'm really impressed by the choreography. They put a couple of things in there that were rhythmic, they also had some good control, and then they had a couple of fancy moves that went along with that. So I would have them at third. So that's my top, that's my top. I had Rafal and his partner, first place. I had Studio 88 duo, Corey Lee and her partner. And I had Ariadna and Simon. And this is my house, so that is the official verdict. I'm not sure what went down at the competition, but that's what I thought should have been the order of those who won. So what did you guys think? Who do you think won this one? Let me know in the comments section. Have you ever done a Strictly before? You should. It's awesome. It's really fun. It's a little bit of choreography. It's a little bit of social dancing. And I encourage you to get in the game. If you've never done any swing dancing before, you should check out uh, some of my free classes below. I got about 30 something of them so you can kind of see how we teach. And so that's my expertise is helping you master social dancing quickly and not have to take years to do it. So anyway, let me know what you thought about this competition. Am I wrong? Of course I'm not. But I want to hear your comment. I want to hear your opinion about this competition and see what the order is that you think. Let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.